Okay, hi, my name is Erica. I'm from Lithuania, um, but I live in the United States. Hi, my name is Evgenia. I'm from Russia and I live in New York. <laughs> so, we're gonna try uh, sushi. Do you like Japanese food? Oh, I love sushi and I love fish a lot. I love, try uh, I love trying different things. Uh -huh. And yeah, but I feel like here we're having more authentic experience yeah. versus like we're having like Asian fusion uh, uh, yeah. in America. <laughs> Even with the sushi that we tried yesterday, it just felt like fresher and tastier. Also a bit different. I feel like I've been eating California rolls for years. And here like I actually opened my mind to like trying I've been different doing things. It wrong all the time. <laughs> yeah, that's how I feel. Uh, this is your request. <laughs> hot sake. It's 12 p.m. Yeah. Let's try it. So it's hot, right? Hot. Cheers. How do you say cheers in Japanese? Kanpai. Kanpai? Yeah. Kanpai. 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 Yeah, it feels strong. Yeah. <laughs> the first sip feels very strong, but then it becomes more like watery. Yeah, yeah. I feel like it's opposite from other alcohols. Yeah, like if you taste. take a shot of tequila, at first it's fine, and then it just starts burning. It's very good. Small. Yeah, it feels yeah. smooth. We first pick this? up like this radish okay. and ginger. Okay. And put it here okay. and mix it. And this is shrimp. Yeah, right? it's a bean. So like this. Right? Yeah, yeah. Delicious. Yeah. <laughs> well, I think awesome. potatoes. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's a potato. It's a totally different. It's like a sweet potatoes we call it. Mm -hmm. I don't think we have. But it. it's not so like Russian. Mm -hmm. Can I try it from you? Yeah. Sweet potato. It's. Better than the sweet potato. Normal tuna. Normal tuna? Yes. Mm -hmm. This one fatty tuna. Okay. Medium fatty tuna. Uh -huh. And these are uh, tuna rolls. Broiled. Grilled. Grilled tuna. Roast, yeah, roast, roast tuna. Yeah. Okay. okay. Mm. 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 It's really good. Um, the wasabi is on the wasabi it. Is there. Mm -hmm. It's really good. I like it. It's somewhere inside, right? It's yeah. under the fish. Yeah, under the fish. Wow, it's really good. Wow, it's really good. Mm -hmm. How is it different from the first one? Mm. You know how to describe how thing is fattier? Yeah. It just it like Softer. melts in your mouth. You Softer, don't need to chew yeah. it. Wow. Mm -hmm. I like it. Do, do they all come from the same? Is yeah. it just different parts of the fish? Right, right. Or it's different fish? It's uh, the same fish, but different parts. Okay. I'm so excited. <laughs> California and salmon rolls. Uh, <laughs> It kind of depends on like the people, the preference. Mm -hmm. Some people like normal tuna, some people like medium fatty tuna. Because sometimes fatty tuna is too fatty. So it's yeah. like I would stick with medium. Same. Yeah. Yeah. I like the medium the most. Oh, yeah. okay. Oh, nazdarovye. Um, so in Lithuanian, it's vikata. Oh. It's like to your health. Oh, okay. which yeah, the same in Russian, to your mm -hmm. health, like nazdarovye. Yeah. yeah, so... Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> And you have to make sure that you make eye contact when you cheer because like if you don't make eye contact with the person when you're cheering, it's like very bad luck. Oh, American version is that you're not gonna have good sex for a while. That's American yeah. I thought it was Lithuanian version. Really? So I guess it's like international version. Yeah, it's like... Uh, and everybody's like... <laughs> like eye contact. <laughs> This is no what it was, you know? This is what happened to me. <laughs> oh, thank you. Cheers. Cheers. What do you drink usually? In your country? 
I know Russia is very famous for vodka, <laughs> but how about Lithuania? Um, there's a lot, a lot of Russian influence in Lithuania, so even when it comes to alcohol, it's vodka okay. usually because Lithuania was a part of Soviet Union. Uh, yes, so. Yes. So even in school, like my parents had to take with, with Russian when they were kids, like they're fluent uh -huh. in Russian language. Um, so when it comes to drinks, it's the same. Lots of vodka. Uh, lots of vodka. Lots of vodka. <laughs> but now, I, I, don't, I prefer wine most of the time. I like champagne. I grew up and became champagne girl. <laughs> oh, champagne girl. <laughs> when you drink vodka? You just take a shot, yeah. or you just sip a little bit? No, you don't yeah. want you a shot. You take a shot. The, the whole goal of drinking vodka yeah. is to throw it on your throat huh? without touching your tongue. Mm. Mm. That's interesting. Because if it touches your tongue, it tastes like shit. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. Okay. Because I don't know if I can fit too. Yeah. I can. Time to try this one. Mm. I like it a lot. Ooh. Wasabi, right? Wasabi. <laughs> no, I can see like wasabi. Oh yeah. What is the food you usually eat at your country? So in Lithuania, a lot of things are made out of potatoes. So <laughs> everything is potatoes. Oh. You have baked potatoes, you have boiled potatoes, then you take potatoes and mix them with meat and make these like potato balls <laughs> with meat. I don't know, okay. it's strange. Uh, it's called tsepelene. So it's like potato dumplings. Oh, ah, but it's nice. It's so heavy though, like when you eat it, all you want to do is go to sleep afterwards. Because the, <laughs> I like, see. You can't move. Uh, really? <laughs> it's not like this food. I feel like after I eat sushi, I feel light. I feel like I'm full in a nice way. After tsepelene, you're dead. <laughs> so it's like one of the most traditional foods. Okay. And we have something else that a lot of people find very yeah. strange. It's called saltebarshi. <laughs> so it's like a cold beet soup. So in Russian, they have this like hot beet soup. Oh, yeah. But in Lithuania, we have cold beet soup. And you eat it with potatoes uh -huh. too. So you eat it with hot potatoes. You take the potato in the spoon, you put it in the soup, and you eat it. And it's amazing. But inside of it, there's cucumbers, dills, oh, eggs, uh, beets, milk, butter milk wow. sour cream so when yeah. you think like you know when you think about the mixture it sounds disgusting but somehow when you put it all together it's like amazing my mom would have a garden next to our house and like you know when the summer hits and like all of the vegetables were growing like she would go pick all of the vegetables from the garden and make that soup so wow, it always the, reminds the me of like the first home yeah. that we were in yeah so how about Russia I haven't been like in Russia for a long time and I kind of live on my own so now I don't eat Russian food I just uh, I'm buying a lot of vegetarian cookbooks and I like to try a lot of stuff at home yeah like different stews I like uh, a lot of Indian food like Indian curries so I like Thai food a lot yeah so what is the tra traditional Russian food? Uh, I mean, borscht yeah, is borscht. one of them, but I guess mainly like Russian cuisine is based on vegetables. Uh, Russia, like a lot of meals are made out of these type of vegetables, like cooked carrots, cooked beets, uh, combined with meat or something. A lot of pickles, because people are trying to keep this food for a long time, so they would pickle it. Uh, makes sense. Which part are you uh, from? In I'm Russia? from Siberia. Oh, uh, Siberia. Yeah. It's at the middle part of Russia. Uh, train. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, train. yeah. yeah. Railway. <laughs> yeah. Okay. It's where they used to send bad people. <laughs> people really? to die. Yeah. <laughs> What's that? I'm kind of dying already. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, if you want to try, you just try. But if you don't like it, maybe you just. I'm gonna it. try that one. This one is just. What the hell is Oh god. <laughs> I'm happy that I didn't have the blue one. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. uh, if I go to your country, what is the best place for us? I see it. Um, let me think about it. You go first. St. Petersburg. 
next to the Baltic Sea. Oh, but yeah, so it's um, not so far away from Moscow. Yeah. Yeah, it's very close to Europe. So it used to be like the capital of Russia uh -huh. for a while, and it's like a very historic city. There are like a lot of palaces there of like old Russian Tsars. So it's really really beautiful. Like and they really preserve this architecture. Uh -huh. They had like hundreds of years oh, ago. Really? Uh, a lot of museums, a lot of galleries <laughs> where you can see like the whole Russian. Culture. It's kind of we call it, yeah, we call it like a cultural capital of Russia. Uh, and if you go during May or June, they have mm -hmm. white nights mm -hmm. because it's close to the North Pole. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it's um, it's the same like in Sweden. For example, when I went in June, during the night it doesn't get dark. Yeah, yeah, it yeah. always has like a twilight, oh, so wow. you can walk around like all day and all night, and wow. it just doesn't get dark completely. So the main part of the city is kind of like an island and it connects it to other parts by bridges, right? And usually at different times between 11 and 2 a.m. they open up bridges and they keep them open until 4, 5, 6 a.m. So if you like on the like main part in the island, like and you stay overnight, you can't get back. So, like, but I remember, like, we, what we used to do, we used to hang out there all night because it's light out. Okay. And the whole thing about this uh, opening up bridges, it's yeah. really beautiful because these bridges are like, really old. They look really beautiful, and they open up them like really, really slowly. And then there are like huge barges, you know, going through them. Wow. Like it's very scenic. Wow. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. uh, so if you go to Lithuania, you should go everywhere because you can cross the whole Lithuania in four hours. <laughs> like the country is so small okay. that you can drive through it in like four hours. Okay. Uh, but I think my favorite places, I would say Klaipeda is the first one. So it's the city by the seashore. In the summertime, there are a lot of like different concerts, different activities, like people from, you know, the entire country, they kind of like go to the seashore to enjoy the summer because it's really cold during the other months. Um, next to Klaipeda, there's Neda. And Neda is basically also a seashore, but it's more like you can see more nature and less city there. So it's a great area to see. Um, how do you call like the sand sand dunes? Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so like we have beautiful sand dunes by the Baltic Sea. So that's something that I would recommend. Okay. Another place that I would recommend is the capital, Vilnius. The architecture is very old and hot air balloon rides are very popular. So when you get up on the hot air balloon ride, you can see that the city is kind of like a, a tree trunk. It like expands. So like the center of the city is very old and medieval. And then like as the city expands, it just gets like newer and newer. So it's very popular to do like hot air balloon rides there because like it's very scenic. And something else that they have um, that one of my friends who's not Lithuanian told me about and he was like in love with it It's these like dinners in the air mm -hmm. so you can take this I don't even know what it's called. It's like a table There's like seats attached and you take it like 200 meters in the in, up in the air yeah. And there's like a chef cooking for you and you're just like in the air eating yeah. dinner and enjoying the city uh, Let me show you a picture that's like where it is. You go up, so like you're up in the air, and then there's like a chef cooking for you right in there, and you're just wow. hanging out. In the <laughs> like city. Yeah. yeah. So you have like a good camera from Nikon. So yeah, it was made in 1970s. It's wow. Nikon EL2, and it has a film, uh -huh. like black and white film inside. Wow. And okay. I bought it used. Like they don't make them anymore. Uh -huh. But you yeah. have also the digital camera. Yeah, Nikon. I have a digital camera. <laughs> Big fan of Nikon. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I actually used to work for Canon though. Oh really? <laughs> yeah, I used to work for what? Canon for a year. And I, I couldn't tell anyone that like everyone's like, what's your camera? I'm like <laughs> Canon. Because like when you work at Canon you can't say that you have Nikon at yeah, home. Yeah. That's, <laughs> so funny. That's funny. In America there is this perception that Canon is a lot of like, Canon users are kind of like arrogant, <laughs> you know, that like... I thought Canon was for beginners, no. I have a Canon. No, like everyone, like all photographers who have Canon, they're like, I have Canon, what is it, <laughs> And they like think that they're better than others, you know, like having Canon is kind of like having BMW, yeah. you know, it's like, supposedly it makes you cooler, 
even though Camry is not bad, it's not better. It's just like a more aggressive branding, I guess. I yeah. feel offended. I didn't know Canon had such a reputation. But I did work for Canon. Yeah, yeah, you worked <laughs> yeah, for, for a year, Canon. Yeah. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Alright. Thank, nice Thank, Thank you. Nice meeting you. Thank you. Sayonara.